Hey, dude, how's it going? All right, how are you? I'm good. You got your Mac back. I got my Mac back. So far, so good. Knock on... Knock on Mac. Knock on fake laminated wood byproducts. There you go. Yeah. Cool. But it's working cool. pretty good. iChat's cool. working. Yeah. I'm happy. We've had problems with that, but... Uh, Obviously, my my network has been a problem all along. It really hasn't been an iChat problem for us because I had major issues with my Airport Extreme for the past two months and finally figured it out this weekend. Yeah, I I, I, I got a complaint from the net. You've been knocking the, the entire internet down regularly. I did not cut any cables. It's not Just the cut cables. It was your, it exactly. was your router. They determined yeah. that. Oops. My bad. But it's working now. Uh oh, my time machine drive is backing us up. Oh my god! Do you feel There's duplicated? Do you feel <laughs> duplicated now? <laughs> you, you've been all. No, one, one of me is bad enough. You've all been backed up. You're you're yeah. not safe. One of me is bad enough. Yeah. Yeah. So what's hey, going uh, on UPS? today? What's Was going that? on today up in Philly land? Well, UPS just stopped by here in the drizzly, rainy, crappy day. Ooh, is it a big box? Nah, just a small envelope, and that's usually not a good sign. Uh, you know? Well, it depends. Mm, might be like an IRS audit or something. It's always know. good to get good stuff, though. That's, that's true. Well, I did get something interesting. I got the uh, easy skin from the folks at Easy Gear. Cool. It's, a, it's, for a, uh, it's a skin for an iPhone. There's a belt holster kind of clippy thing here. And interestingly enough, they include, I don't know if you can see it here, they include the front face um, of an invisible shield, which is like a $15 value. Oh, wow. Yeah, because if I recall, you got the invisible shield on your iPhone. Right? I do. You see it? Right I there. I remember, yeah. I see, see it. it. It's invisible. It's invisible. Yeah. You can't see it. No, but I, I remember seeing it in Vegas, and I, I, I yeah. could tell. Yeah, I like it. It protects the screen, and but it's a little more grippy, rubbery feeling. Yeah, it's a little more friction. I noticed it wasn't as smooth as like my iPod, but it's protected. Well, it comes in handy. Sometimes I just need to start a fire. I just rub real fast to make a spark. I just yeah. rub two Girl Scouts together. <laughs> I'm not going there. Oh man, this is uh, bad. Anyway. So I'm going to give this uh, a look-see. I'll write it up, and uh, I'll let Barb take a look for because she's got her iPhone, too. So. Oh, that's right. You're a two-iPhone household. Oh, yes. AT&T and Apple love us now. Oh, man. You've joined the board. Yes, we are iPhone. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well. Yeah. iPhones so are you, all right. Did you see that uh, new Opera browser, 9.5? Uh, Opera Mobile, yeah. Opera Mobile. I've been talking to the opera folks today. I got pretty excited. So there they say, are. There they are. They're saying, "No, you you can't have it right now. Uh -huh. you, you can't have it yet." But what we want to copy, we want to beta test it. Well, look, I've got the uh, the iPhone Nano. The iPhone Nano. Yeah. yeah see. Yes. No yes. buttons. You don't need buttons. It's just it calls it calls anybody. You just you just look at it. Yeah, yeah, right. It's multi-look. I have one, too, but I also have the Verizon the Verizon Slim phone. Oh, wow. Hello. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and this is the uh, 3G AT&T one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> this one you just plug right in. I have a port in the back of my neck. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Ow. Don't forget which movie that was where the guy had a data port. Which one was it? The Matrix. Yeah, yeah, it was The Matrix. There yeah. was another one, though. There was another movie, too, though. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So what did you think of Opera? 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 I can't wait to get my hands on. That's why I was talking to the Opera <laughs> folks today. Um, Before they pretty, so rudely called. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. You know, it's going to be, they said there's going to be a public beta this spring. Mm-hmm. And they're going to actually be showing it at the Mobile World Conference in Barcelona next week. Next week. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to give it to anybody, but they're going to be showing it, which is pretty cool. It would be interesting to see. But, yeah, I watched the video that Opera posted today. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty nice. Um, Very iPhone-like. 
Well, that's the whole thing. You know, if you remember when the iPhone first came out, mm -hmm. all of these um, software developers, Windows Mobile, non-iPhone software developers, started rushing to market with a with touch-enabled applications, you know, like contact managers and PIM managers and stuff. And nobody really got excited because it it really wasn't just the touch ability of the iPhone that got everybody excited. It was the mobile browsing experience. Yeah. Yeah. And the Opera video, it showed that they've addressed a lot of that. You know, they've they put the intelligent zooming, double click on a, com, a column. That's and key. It pops mm -hmm. open. And so it's pretty cool. I can't wait to get get my hands on. Yeah, I, I like the fact that the way they did the zooming because all the other attempts to do this, you've always chosen a location and a zoom magnification basically. Here, like you said, it's intelligent. It recognizes the content is this wide. So let's zoom to the content, not yeah. to the location. Yeah, and I, I see all that and I I just say, wow, imagine that on a five inch VGA HTC Advantage screen. Mm -hmm. Man. I mean, if I had a browser like that, there are a lot of days I could carry just the advantage with me because, sure. I mean, that screen is just built for that kind of browsing. What browser do you use on the HTC Advantage? I now? use Opera now. I use uh, the current version is 8.65. It, right. it actually was pre-installed on the Advantage by HTC. Oh, that's right. Yep. And in fact, it was it's. The default browser, which was pretty funny because it's a Windows mm -hmm. mobile device, but and it's not a bad browser, but no, it's just not as good a browser as it's not the real internet. No, it's the fake internet. We need the real internet mm -hmm. in our pocket. So, yeah, I, I can't wait to get it, but this spring, whatever that means. Well, yeah, I think Soon. our. Uh, our podcast partner in crime is going to Barcelona. He's going to see it, I'm sure, because they're yeah. going to show it. And I know he's going to look for it. Yeah. Because he and I have both been waiting for the Skyfire browser, which right. is probably as good a browser, it looks like, except it's server-based. So you're going to have to pay something, probably subscription. you know, uh, subscribe to it, whereas Opera Mobile... They'll, they'll probably charge for it because they charge down for it. Yeah. But it'll just be a buying a program and then you're done. You know, that would be an interesting question to the readers. What uh, Which would you prefer? Would you prefer a subscription-based browser or a one-time license fee? Well, I can already tell you that people will say I, they want it free. Well, sure. That's what they want. I mean, yeah. and the reason I say that is because... When we first started talking about Skywire, uh, readers already were saying, mm -hmm. I'm not paying a subscription fee. And then even today, talking about the Opera browser, people are saying, well, I'm not paying 20-some bucks for a browser. Mm. Well, then you're probably Me, I don't mind browser. paying. You know, I don't mind paying for programs that are really good. And mm -hmm. companies like Opera, they're spending a lot of resources on development and sure. advancement. They never stop. No. So I don't mind paying for software. You know? mm -hmm. It does what I want, and it's something I use. And let's face it, the browser is something that we all use every day. Yeah. So. Well, since, since you don't mind paying for it, maybe you can just buy me a copy. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll buy you a copy of Opera. No, that's all right. Except, oh, wait. There won't be an iPhone version of it. Oh, sorry, Kevin. Well, I have a dash. Uh, I think there, there'll be Windows Mobile, S60, and a couple others, I think. Linux space? I think so. And uh, they're going to offer an SDK as well for developers. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so. it's pretty cool. But no iPhone version. Sorry. That's okay. We don't need Well, it. speaking of... Safari on the iPhone. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Uh oh. Do you think Apple could make a business case for producing a Windows Mobile version of that Safari browser? I definitely think they can. Um, I think that Safari for Windows could be tied into that master plan to begin with. Um, no question about it. I mean, if the iPhone has already surpassed the uh, 
how do I want to say it, the browsing population of Windows mobile devices, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I'd say there's a good case. Obviously, there's a market there. And I imagine they could sell it for just a few bucks and people would snap it up. Yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about it, and I think there, like you, I think there is a business case, like you said, tying it into Safari for Windows. But can they do Will it? they do it? They won't do it because they uh, well, well, they want to press their. Can they do it in the Windows opinion. Mobile framework? Is the question. Well, I think they probably could if they wanted if they wanted to. Um, yeah. The hardware in your iPhone is not that much different than the hardware in a lot of the Windows Mobile. Devices. No, but your 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 operating system platform is very different so well that's 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 true but i don't think they'll do it because they're they have a huge advantage right now and they know that so why should mm -hmm. they fork that basically? and and you know what it, it could take away from the glamour of their current product the iphone so that yes. people might stay with windows mobile longer so yeah. there's not a lot of incentive so i don't think they'll do it but it'd be yeah. nice so yeah. jobsy if you're if you're watching this We'll both pay for it. Yeah. Well, I'm speaking for Kevin now. So. <laughs> I'm sure I could dig up enough change out of the sofa to, to pay for it. So. No, it'd be about 400 bucks. Well, no. Then forget it. Because it would come with 34 gigabytes of RAM. This is $400, too. <laughs> yeah. I'll take this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got to run. Yeah, me too, dudes. It's good talking cool. to you. Catch you later. Happy mobile browsing. Yeah. See ya. See ya.